Hello again, it's Priscilla Batsell at Expression Start Studio Gallery. As the light slowly fades, and I'm going to reuse my shovels, whoops, <laughs> on this 14 by 14 inch canvas to do a organic geometric, which is what I'm calling them. And I'm going to grab a clean shovel for my black paint and use my gold paint in that white, that was white pearl, and I don't think it's going to do any harm. Probably need a little bit less than I do when I'm doing a wider canvas. Get to the edge, just let it relax a little bit and it'll go right down over. Use the shovel to push that. And let that relax into my container. Because I'm not sure I'm going to do that again. This time I'm going to use hot orchid and give myself the pleasure of a whole entire stripe of it. I may put some black in between. You know what, I want to try what I tried the other day, which is just a guesstimate the size of a stripe. Because this is all about saving paint and not having to pour anything away. And I'm going to let that drain down a little sideways because I think I can pour out what I have left. Yeah, I'm going to use some of that right there. That is the Venetian Blue from Modern Masters. I think I'm going to tip that a little bit. Put some of that right over there. I'm going to be using a swipe card and some Floatrol. Yep, still got my Floatrol container. I think I'm going to go back again and use that gold shovel to put my white metallic from... Whoops, what is that in there? <laughs> that is not something I want to keep in there. I see it. It needs to go out. There we go. So I love the way the white looks and I've tried to get myself to remember to put it in more than one stripe several times now and it's not working that well but I'm going to try this time. So this none of this is so important that um, you need to make perfect stripes because you really don't. I think I'm going to put my black in between. I might even be tempted just to use the same shovel And fill in. I'm going to probably go back and use my turquoise in the gaps. I'm going to try not to worry about my edges because as I swipe with the card I will have residuals and I also have paint left over in my dish that I can use. Come on, out you come. Alright, so I'm going to use, I think I'm going to give myself the pleasure of a little bit of purple. And a little bit of the, fo the folk art color shifting purple, which is flash, if it'll come out. I somehow disposed of both my sets of tweezers. Oh, I found one. Cool. Let's hope that is going to help me out. Nope. I want it to. I'm not giving up yet. I'm going to try and keep doing this because I love the results of this, but I'm going to try and change up my colors a little bit here and there and everywhere. Okay, that's open. Yay. Not sure where I was going to put it, but I'm putting it where it's going right now. And let's find that. Oh, I've got the peacock. I want the black next to the gold. I have some 24 karat gold decor Americana. That's what that was. 
This is the same Decorate Americana 24 karat gold and it has some iridescent pearl fine in it um, with orange. Okay. <laughs> I had a feeling I'd come to this point. Well, that's not coming out. Maybe it shouldn't. What else am I going to do here? I want the rest of that paint and that shovel. And I think I'm going to get it a whole lot faster if I use a Princeton Argel Catalyst spatula, which, among other things, is available on my Amazon link under the link tree. Should you guys have any questions ever, just remember to ask me. I'm happy to help or give you a link. I have 1,700 videos, and they are organized in playlists also, and you may ask me about those as well. I went too far earlier today with this method, and I put too many colors on something. And I'm hoping that I'm not going <laughs> to overindulge myself right now, but there's a good chance that could happen. So most of my shovels have been used. And I'm going to grab my little swipe card and I'm going to put, actually I have some Floatrol here right now, and I'm going to put my card in one side of it. It's maybe a little more than I need. Get my dish ready. You know what? I really want to put some lids under my painting so that as I swipe, it's easier for me to touch up my edges. Okay, so here goes nothing. And if I push that back a little bit at the edge, then I get all the residuals added. I've got to remember to wipe off my cards sometimes, and sometimes I like to use the color. And sometimes I press my card, and sometimes I don't. This is a don't. The other one was a definite. I want some orange in there. I know I said I was going to do without it, but I'm not. I've got some light orange. I want some dark orange. This has got iridescent pearl fine in it also. This is the Hobby Lobby. <laughs> I got a skewer with so much paint on the end, there's no point left. There we go. And fortunately, I have a little gap that doesn't, won't, that will benefit. <laughs> I lost my ability to speak. Sometimes I get a lot distracted. Okay, let's hope that's going to be okay. Turn my card around and press it right against the edge. Scrape it off on a few other places so I'm getting it well in advance of the need. I'm loving the cells. I'm loving all of this actually. I might have a smaller swipe card around here someplace to use and I will use it. Most of my residuals are covering my edges just perfectly. I'll still scrape off this tiny amount. This time I'm going to keep my stripes fairly in line with each other from one side to the other, but that wasn't necessarily the case earlier. I am going to do more flow at troll. Right here along this edge. And honestly, I could leave, I like the paint in between very much, so I could leave that and it wouldn't be the end of the world for me at all. And any paint I have on my tile, I can just pick it up with my card. I might even get some cells since there's still a residual of flow troll on the edge. But I don't think I'm going to need to take anything, I say that, anything out of my shovels, but I want to. Oh. 
Yes, okay. That was non-Floatrol, and I still want Floatrol. So let me see if I can find a smaller card. Or maybe I can just use my little drag tool. Let's try that. A different size is okay. Let's go from the other side. That way I have a chance to fill in that gap I noticed. This time I'm not going to worry about those white spaces. You really don't need to worry about the white spaces. And my, my opinion is because the canvas is primed, it's not an issue. It doesn't keep me from still <laughs> doing something about that. I love using the residuals from one place in another place. kind of feel guilty when I get rid of cells, but I'm liking everything else I've got so much. And I've been using a basting brush. I'm not sure if I need one. I probably don't. But I do love pushing the Princeton Art Tool Catalyst spatulas right up and down through and leaving a trail behind. Very much, in fact. And I can pounce that. Even with its residuals, it's fine if I want to fill in any of those gaps I said I wasn't going to touch. I still miss the basting brush. I wonder if I wash it or not. Uh, it's probably no, right there in the bucket. Okay. I'm going to dry that off and be right back in a second. Now I can use the paint that I've got in my dish. and the residuals from pulling another stripe. Depending on, you can use the tips of the basing brush or you can lay it down. If you lay it down too far, the ferrule is going to be dragging too much color, so you want to be careful of that. There, I'm very well pleased with that. Thank you guys for joining me. Please check out my over 1,700 videos. And you can go to my channel and go to all playlists, creative playlists, all playlists. And you will find them organized by the hundred and also by the topic. Should you ever need a link, feel free, as I may have mentioned, to ask me. If you're looking for any of the merchandise that I make to help you support development to the production of videos in the studio, Please look under the link tree underneath the video where you'll find Pinterest, Instagram, Twitter links, my, my website. What else? <laughs> I completely lost my train of thought. Uh, Pixels.com, Fine Art America, and you can find those two Facebook groups, Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Appreciation Group is for students, Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Totes and More is for people who are looking to shop Fine Art American Pixels.com, obviously. And uh, you can find over 1,400 items there because I stopped posting when I got busy. But um, I'm, I'm totally enamored of this. I love the, the hot orchid from Color Art is the bomb. It, uh, it makes me happy every time I see it. I've got just enough paint to quickly pour another artwork. I'm going to use my torch. To release any bubbles caught in the paint, but I suspect there are probably not very many. These little white marks, I like them. They add texture for me, so I'm going to leave them. Thank you for your wonderful comments to keep my morale boosted. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for all the donations that have helped me, keep me painting so far. Should you be somebody who can help support the production of videos and the purchase of art supplies, know that I have PayPal and Patreon. I prefer PayPal. 
And if you are someone who donates to help keep the studio rolling, you'll be automatically entered in the monthly drawing. And the monthly drawing prizes are included on the exhibition video. That one little spot is driving me nuts. Can't help it. Had to go. Probably would look, would look better with it on there. So I'm going to try and give you guys a close-up and tell you to check the Teespring clothing below the video for all over print leggings and all over print t-shirts. I have some really awesome patterns. If there's ever anything that you guys are interested in having posted that I could make leggings out of, let me know and it can either go to Fine Art America or Pixels.com and I'm trying to touch up my edges. I do give classes at the house in Spring Hill, Florida and I do sell my artwork and I thought I was going to be able to live with those little white canvas spots but I'm really having a hard time with it. So I love you guys and I hope you decide to come again. And this is Priscilla Batzell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery saying thank you for joining me. Please share my videos. If you wouldn't mind giving me a thumbs up it would be great assistance. If you share my videos to groups, it might help me get some more viewers. If you have questions, please ask. Look for my two books called Because I Can and Unlimited Possibilities on my Amazon link. And if you shop there, it helps me buy stuff. Stuff to make videos. So I really appreciate that and I really love you guys. Take care of each other. Take care of yourselves. I will see you in on. Bye for now. Priscilla out. I'm out of focus again. Bummer.